I saw, I saw the rain coming down earlier today. Earlier too, when we came in for the morning show for daybreak, it wasn't all that cold. I didn't really need my uh, coat this morning. No, it, it really wasn't. I barely needed mine, but I brought mine with me to show <laughs> Just up. Just We know what's happening. <laughs> we know it's going to happen. Those temperatures are dropping this afternoon, and this is what I need you to know for today. Expect the scattered rain. A lot of us will only just see a drizzle. If that temperatures drop through the afternoon hours and a freeze is expected Thursday morning. Overall, it's just going to be a cold and windy day and I'll get to that. But first I want to show you where that rain is is extending anywhere from Stephenville, Granbury, Cleburne into Sulphur Springs and across the Red River there. Like I said, it's very light and it's scattered in nature. A lot of our western counties are already drying out, but I do see some added rain across uh, southeastern portions of Dallas County, Mesquite, uh, even outside Heath, also seeing some moderate rainfall there extending north into Rockwall. What I'm expecting now is that rain to start to thin out. Winds are going to pick up out of the north, and that's what's going to help drop our temperatures. Right now we're in the mid 50s. A lot of us will make it to the low 60s, especially if you are east of I 35, and then those temperatures drop. About 51 degrees expected by 4, and look at this 42 degrees by 7. We'll be into the 30s by around 10 tonight. Here's a look at where that front curly is already helping bring down the temperature in Wichita Falls to 46 degrees. Compare that to the 60s we're seeing in Dallas. As this front moves south, we have the potential to see some strong storms in East Texas. We're not included in that risk. And then Central Texas, look at this. Tomorrow morning, if you're maybe heading south, I want to alert you. There is the potential for some winter weather. In fact, a winter storm watch in place for portions of central Texas. We're not included in that. We're going to be way too dry by the time that cold air gets here. And later today, the threat for some strong storms expected for southeast Texas. So if you're heading southeast, maybe towards Houston, that's something to be uh, on on the alert because we do have that potential to see some of those strong storms. So I'm going to take you in on a closer look here, show you how this front is going to move through the area. This is showing you Wednesday around 11. We see that front still across our north uh, western counties. We'll see that moving through throughout midday. Again, high temperature happens around midday. Ahead of that front is where we see the showers. Behind the front, it's going to be dry and it's going to be windy. Temperatures will then drop through the afternoon as this front moves south, and then we'll see some of those strong storms really center themselves again south and east of the area. I'm not expecting any storms here locally, just the scattered rainfall, and then those temperatures continue to drop. So once we clear out, it gets windy and by tomorrow morning, this is what it's going to look like. It'll be dry. It'll be windy. Temperature of 25 degrees likely in Dallas, about 24 in Fort Worth. But when you factor in the wind, it's going to feel like the teens. So definitely want to make sure to bundle up. Throughout the day tomorrow, our temperatures will struggle to warm. We will maybe make it into the upper 30s, but because of the wind, it's going to feel like the 20s all day long. Temperatures are going to recover somewhat on Friday. Thursday by far will be the coldest day. Temperatures back into the upper 40s by Saturday, 50s by early parts of next week. I know we've had a few of these cold fronts come through and it generally does uh, cool us down for a couple of days and then we warm back up. This one's going to stick around a little longer. Morning lows still expected in the 20s uh, for the remainder of the week and into the weekend. We warm up ever so slightly early parts of next week to Shara. All right, Mariel, thank you.